hello students in this video i am going to explain to you that how we can use origin pro in order to integrate the peaks of our uh, the graph and data and uh, this integration will provide us with the baseline of our peaks the full width half maximum of all the peaks and it will also integrate the areas of the peaks and uh, we will also be able to find out the total area of the peaks so let's start it uh, suppose we have x and y axis of our data here i have some data of current and the voltage uh, and i have assigned x values and the y values so the first thing will be that i will select the data and plot a simple uh, graph x y graph on origin so this is the graph and you can further edit it in order to format it properly you know to increase the width of lines and the data you can uh, do it arrange it as you like uh, in order to do the integration of the peaks i will have to go to analysis and here we have this option of peaks and baseline let's go to the peak analyzer i will use this option of open dialog so that we can see what kind of options are available in this case so here this dialog box will open and you will have different kinds of options available here suppose i want to do the integration of the peak 1 and peak 2 in my data so i will select this option and this will show that what kind of uh, calculations uh, will be done and we can achieve through this by selecting this option we can see peak area percentage area and then the beginning point and the ending point we also have uh, the peak center and the peak height and we also have full width half maximum I mean that is means uh, that it means the uh, uh, width of the peak at the half maximum and that is required in many calculations in electrochemistry and other uh, other you know experiments so uh, let's finish this and we will see the result so you can see here they have uh, it is it has done the baseline of the peaks peak 1 and peak 2 and uh, this is the you know origin of the um, peak uh, peak center for the p2 peaks peak 1 and peak 2 and let's see that uh, what are the calculations that it has done and what kind of data we have uh, achieved by doing these calculations so uh, i will show it in the other graph that i have already done so you see here in the graph and you will click on this sheet you will you will find different tabs here in the bottom so this sheet is our xy data that we have plotted then we have another tab that is integration results so these are our integration results we have the peak area for peak 1 and peak 2 uh, area integral row index and then we have starting and ending full width half maximum peak center and the peak height so we have these kind of results that we can use in different calculations then we have integrated curve data that is used for integration that the data for peak peak 1 and peak 2 and the plot data for peak 1 and peak 2 of this data that is labeled as b here so this data can all be obtained using origin in a very simple way and we can use this data for further calculations of our parameters uh, so this is how we can find out the integral of our peaks of our data and we can plot it in this way uh, thank you